Hello everyone! Today, I'll be explaining the time signatures of... I'll be explaining the time signatures of Shifted today and for those of you who have completely no idea what music theory is or if you completely have no idea what time signatures are, I'm gonna explain the basics today. This is an eighth note and it has half a count. This is a quarter note and it's one count. This is a half note and it's two counts. This is a dotted half note and it has three counts. And this is called a whole note and it has four counts. Oh, there's also another note that's gonna appear in the sheet music. And this is a 16th note and it is quarter count. These are clefs. This is a treble clef and it's for the right hand. This is the bass clef and it means you're gonna play it with your left hand. There are going to be two numbers that you're going to see at the side of each clef in your sheet music. These are called time signatures. Time signatures tell us how to count or play a song. Well, that's the easiest explanation that I have about time signatures. The number on top tells us the number of beats in a measure. The number at the bottom tells us the type of beats that we should be counting. I have three different time signatures written here with different bottom numbers. If the bottom number is 2, it means that it's going to be half count beats. If the bottom number is 4, you're going to be counting in quarter note beats. And if the bottom number is 8, you're going to be counting in 8 note beats. So, since the top number of the time signatures tell us the number of beats in the measure, this means that there are going to be three half note beats. This means that there are going to be three quarter note beats. And this means that there are going to be three eighth note beats. There are several ways that these time signatures are grouped. The first one, three eight, being three eighth notes being together. In six eight, usually there are two pairs of three eighth notes being together. So, if you'd like to group them in a different way, you would have to do something like this. So, if you check them all, they should add up equal to the time signatures above. Are you with me at this point? Shifted starts off with this time signature, and that's 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. However, since you know a little bit more about time signatures, essentially it's the same thing as the total, 12 8. Which basically means just 12 8 notes per measure. In the next measure of Shifted, it goes to 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. And it adds up to 15 8. At the break of shifted, where it doesn't really change too much in time signatures, that's just a normal 16. And there you go! I hope these will make it less complicated for you to give shifted a try. Oh, and just one more thing before I leave. I realized I haven't talked about rests. These little tiny things that ask you to hold short before starting again. This is a quarter note rest, so it's one count. This is an eighth note rest, so it's half a count. This is a half note rest, so it's two counts. This is a whole note rest, so it's four counts. And a sixteenth note rest, Quarter count. Okay, JJC fam, I hope this video has helped you understand music theory or time signatures a little bit better. And the sheet music to shift it is now out. Download it, cover it, and share it with all of us. Good luck. I put my